Okay, today's video is going to be showing you how to remove the airbag, steering wheel, and the clock spring with these two stocks on it from any 2012 or newer Fiat 500. Step one for us, since we're dealing with airbags, it's always a good idea to remove the negative terminal on the battery. This is very important because if you don't do this, there is always a risk of the airbag deploying. Um, also, there will be a fault code stored in the airbag computer if you do not do this, which you will then have to take to the dealer and get reset. In order to remove the negative battery terminal, take a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen this nut, and simply pull off and slide out of the way. The next step is actually the airbag itself. This airbag is held in with two metal they're very hard to describe, but basically pressure tension clips. And in order to remove that, you're going to need a very small flat blade screwdriver is what I use. There are specialty tools for this. If you have them, great. Um, there's a hole inside of the steering wheel down here, which, apologies, is incredibly difficult to focus on. All right, so you're going to stick the screwdriver straight in the side of that. And while you're doing so, you're going to feel around for that metal clip. Okay, so it's backwards just a little ways. I'm pushing it in right now, and I have to set down the camera because I have to use my other hand and simply pull this side of the airbag out slightly to make sure that it is unlatched. The only thing I've done now is reached over and unlatched this side of the airbag from the tension clip. Now I'm going to turn the steering wheel around and do the same thing on the other side. Once you have released both tension clips, the airbag will be loose. Very, very carefully, I'm actually going to sit down and show you this. Very, very carefully take the airbag forward. You'll see three plugs on the back. Yours will probably be in better shape than mine. Um, these two are the two-stage airbag connector clips. Uh, my car is a salvage vehicle, so these have already actually been on a deployed airbag, even though this airbag has been replaced. And this is for your, I believe, your horn. So start by taking very good care. These will break easily. Take your very small standard screwdriver or pick, work these up, pull them out. They are color-coded, so you do not need to pay mind to where they go. And this one simply has a little tab on the top, which you push down and pull out. The next step is removing the steering wheel control cable, which is this guy right here. Little plastic clip, pull. Sorry. <laughs> something I'm probably not going to be able to video and do at the same time, but there's a little plastic clip here. Pull that out toward you. This red clip will slide out. Next step is actual steering wheel removal. Um, the only thing holding this on is a single 24 millimeter uh, hex nut, and then once that's off, these plugs will have to slide through there. These are attached to your clock spring. Here you can see the new clock spring. There they are. So what I'm going to do, put down the camera, take that 24 millimeter nut off, and then I'm going to take the steering wheel off straight toward me. One thing of note, make sure that your steering wheel is perfectly straight, so when you put it back on, you have a good reference mark and you don't annoy yourself and having a slightly crooked wheel. Okay, there you have it. Your steering wheel's off. Next step, if you're doing clock spring replacement like I am, there are two screws on the bottom of the column here. Uh, one comes up through there, one comes up through there, you get down through the bottom, and there's also one up top here, and another right over there. So loosen those, and you should then have a loose cowl, which should be a little bit easier to remove. Now that you have the column cowl cover removed, there's a single clip on the bottom here, and there are two up top here. Remove those, uh, mark them, and set them aside. The next step is slightly harder to see. This is the single 5mm hex that holds the entire clock spring on. Um, I'm using a long clearance 5mm here, up in there. Loosen that all the way, and the clock spring should just come right off. So there you have it. The clock spring. Old one on the top for me, new one on the bottom. Uh, installation is reverse of removal. Um, the airbag system automatically relearns and resets, so even if you did trip a fault code by doing this and not waiting quite long enough after removing the battery lead, 
After driving three or four days, it should automatically reset. After reassembly, you should look just like this. Next step is to plug in the battery, try everything out, and just see if that helped. Hope this video helped you out somewhat. Um, I know the first time you looked up airbag removal, it was kind of hard to find, so I figure at very least the video is good enough for that. So, enjoy!